Woo! Hey guys, this is a quick video. I um, I don't know. I get most of my my inspiration. It just hits me. I don't know what that is, but it's it's happened for as long as I can remember. And then when I got older, I realized what I was doing. But I get these premonitions and things when I'm sweeping and when I'm slicing things. If I'm slicing and sweeping or either, excuse my word, sitting on the toilet early in the morning. But I just got, ooh, just burdened so bad. 30 minutes ago and we are worried about the wrong thing we are we have a whole lot more problems that's getting ready to befall on the the hemisphere that we live in you know we have a a crooked leader and he's in Vietnam, meeting with another enemy. And there we have over there, on that hemisphere, we have um, Xi Jinping, and you got Vladimir Putin. They're really the Ford horsemen. And then last week, they tell us that they apprehended a man who was an ex-Marine who wanted to destroy basically all the people in the world. So, he was not the only, he is not the only man that has that agenda. There's some more of them just like that. But, you talk about the, um, the prophecy and the uh, four horsemen and, um, Oh God, there's so many prophecies that have been foretold. And I've seen this in a vision years ago. I woke up one morning, had to be about four o'clock. I don't know why these things happen like four o'clock. But I woke up to a bright light. I mean, the, the light was so bright, it, that's what woke me up. And then I walked to my clock and the whole room is pitch black, the blackest black that I had ever seen in my life. And for a split second, I knew that the world was over. I knew this. It wasn't but a millisecond, but I knew. And then I, I comfort myself and said, wow, I never thought I would see this. I thought I'd be one to just die and not see the end of the world. And just like a, another millisecond, the clock light blinked and came back on. Now my clock, when it the electricity goes out, it does not come back on. You have to reset it. But this this the sheer darkness. Oh man, I have had many dreams like this. But Donald Trump is not in Vietnam for what we think he's over there for. A lot of us say he's uh, trying to distract us with the the things that's going on with his lawyer, his ex-lawyer. But no, because nothing's going to happen about that. Because we already know what, what's going on with Donald Trump. That nothing, uh, it's no secret that we could say about Donald Trump. He's exposed himself. And it's kind of like the emperor walking around without any clothes. We've seen his nakedness. So that's not the issue. But he and Vladimir Putin, the president of China, Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump, you got these four figures, and they are all narcissists and dictators. So when you get that many people, and they're, they're not together in one meeting room, it's just him and Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump, 
But the thing is, they are on the same hemisphere of the world. And Donald Trump met with this man eight months ago. And if you didn't get it done eight months ago, you're not going to get it done this time. But he's, man, <laughs> and think about all the distractions we've had. You know, with with just silly stuff. And then if, if what I'm saying is true, I, I just know how I feel when I have those premonitions and just it's a burden when when I see this and it makes me so weak and sick and then I get sick to my stomach and the only thing I could do is go to sleep and sleep it off and hope when I wake up that it's gone, this feeling is gone. But you know, we have only a few minutes to hunt and get what we need because this Easter egg hunt is over. There's basically no more eggs to be found. Whatever you don't have now, try to get it real quick and say, I understand. That's the only thing you can say is, I understand. I got it. You don't have to go study no voodoo, no Christianity, or nothing. Nothing. It's not about studying. It's about saying, oh, I got it. And that's all you have to do. And, man, I'm going to finish frying my potatoes because I peel me some potatoes and onions and garlic and bell pepper. And I'm going to fry that and make me some biscuits and eat till I'm full. And put some syrup on it and go to sleep. Remember the good old days <laughs> and go to sleep. Just letting y'all know I'm not worried about nothing. My advice to you is not to worry about it either because ain't too much we can do about it. But just know it's happening, okay? Talk to you later. Maybe next lifetime, huh? Bye. <clears throat> oh, okay. I thought I had stopped the video, but I went to go check my potatoes because I don't want them to get too crunchy. I like one side to kind of, you know, to crunch a little bit, but turn the fire down and uh, boy, it smells good. But you know, we got the a race of people that who are awoke and ready that have been prepping for this event, and I, I'm not. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to be the one that survived this event in case it's a catastrophe. But I do, <laughs> I do have enough stuff. If I do survive and walk around with my flesh ripping off of my bones, I do have some enough pills to take me down in a couple of hours. So if you don't have some put-me-down pills and you don't have your stuff uh, locked and loaded, I suggest you go get it from somewhere, but if you're not in pain management, they ain't going to give it to you. But I'm not telling nobody to go out and kill themselves, but it's, it's inevitable, ugh, inevitable, as you think of what happened in World War II. Those people in Japan, that was horrible. That was horrible what America did to these innocent people. It was, it's unbelievable. And they have a, a number or a toll of how many people they think were killed. And you know that number is probably three times more than what they say. It was horrible. And it's going to happen again. And... For these four dictators to have power, it's a lot of people have to die. And the people who are not submissive, they are the ones who are going to have to die. Kim Jong-un doesn't have to worry about that. His people are submissive. The people in China are submissive. Asians, they are submissive. And Putin... He has his people broken because they are so poor there. So 
Donald Trump has trouble with the Americans, and he doesn't like that. The last time he came back from visiting Kim Young, un he said he wished that the Americans would do him the way the Koreans, North Koreans, did Kim Young un and bowed down to him. So, and Donald Trump said that. So, that, that's what they want. I can't say that that's what's going to happen. But if you believe in uh, Nostradamus and the prophecies that have been foretold, the book in Revelation, all of that, the prophecies have been foretold. It's not like the Bible is so right. But Revelation was was not pulled in the scriptures. It's not in the Old Testament. And we don't know even know if John wrote Revelation. But this is amazing about even the the mark of the beast and talking about how the people they couldn't buy or sell without the mark. The mark was in his in their forehead and in their hand. They couldn't buy or, or sell. And that's nothing but the PIN number. Your debit card and your PIN number. You have this PIN number remembered. It's in your forehead. And if you can't remember it, you have it written down. You cannot get your money. You cannot buy. When I had a business, everything had to go through the banking system with a PIN number. And I had my numbers. I had them written down. That's the only way I could cash these checks. I couldn't even do contracts with the city without having a number. So that's what's going on. But anyway, I'm going to... Ooh, my potatoes smell so good. I know y'all know old timey fried and steam. We call them iced potatoes and onions and bell pepper and some garlic. Put some black pepper on it and not too much salt. Good old biscuit. Buttered biscuit and syrup. So that's what I'm having. And let all this this petty stuff go because there's a whole lot more stuff we need to be sending our energy to and uh, the universal powers that we have are greater than any power of a religion because the powers that we have as individual we had the power when we came here I know I had it when I came here and it wasn't about Christianity and I know you guys know it wasn't about voodoo and none of this stuff. We are the power. So don't give up your power because of some religion. Just grab the power that you came here because it. I'm looking like I can look toward the kitchen and keep my food from burning. But the power that we had to come through that birth canal and keep forging and pushing because... When you are born, you know, when you're putting on a, a, a turtleneck that's real tight on your head and you get almost here with your head, you know, you almost get a panic attack and you go too far and you say, just keep pulling. That's the way it was when you were being born, coming through the birth canal. You got to keep pushing forward. And that's what we have to do. And don't be afraid. Keep going to the light. So that's the way I see birth and death being the same thing. Going to the light. But keep pulling that turtleneck over your head and, and resume your power. And it's not about a religion. It's about you. Save your powers. Don't be casting spells on people and, and uh, burning. And I burn a lot of energy with my anger. And I got played real bad, but I'll never do that again. I'm not going to get played. And I don't want nobody to play with me because games are dangerous. But anyway, I'm going to eat my food. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. 
and I promise you we'll talk about some meditation and we might even talk about the, the four horsemen and the apocalypse and what's going on. If, uh, you know, our government is so funny. You have to be careful what you say about that man. Be like Whoop is said, said. She called him uh, a number. You can't say his name. So I, you got to be careful. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.